I don't. I didn't grow up in Manhattan. I grew up in Larchmont, on the uh, on Long Island Sound, and I've spent uh, most of my life living by oceans. My family had a house in Palm Beach, and. I feel the necessity of living by water, and that doesn't include lakes. I've got to be by an ocean all the time. Uh, I go into Manhattan. I went into Manhattan when I was a kid, only when I had to. And though I do keep an apartment in New York, I get out of it as quickly as possible. I like to live by the sea. Playwright Edward Albee has a home overlooking the beach in Montauk. Liking to, liking the theater as much as I do, wanting to go see plays that um, that I enjoy, which may be one of the reasons I started writing plays. So I don't like most of the plays that I see, and I do like seeing most of my plays. The workshop is a writer's colony that my foundation runs about five miles further out. That's sort of a, an oceanside version of the McDowell colony, with painters, playwrights, and novelists who just go there to have the isolation and the peace and the free time to uh, sit around and write and paint. I find New York uh, City too much of a seduction when I'm there. There's so many other things I want to do other than write. And I'm a very undisciplined person. If I'm trying to work in New York, I welcome the telephone. I welcome having to go to a business meeting. I welcome the fact that there are movies playing and, and plays about to open and art galleries and things like that. Fortunately, in Montauk, self-discipline is a little easier.